So at this stage in your math career, there's a lot of vocabulary flying around, and a lot of it just sounds pretty similar to each other. It's hard to tell really what's going on. And maybe you're like math ceratops down here. You you love strawberries or or the moon, but you know you're kind of turning your back on all this all this weird stuff. So I want to try to clarify one thing, um, and that's um, what is the relationship between direct variations and proportional linear relationships and actually I want to show you that they're the same thing so if you feel like man I think these concepts are pretty similar and I can't really tell you know what's the big deal why are they different you're you know you and you and I are in the same boat it, it actually means the same thing and I'll, I'll kind of show you how that is true so we'd say the relationship between two variables in a linear function is proportional if the ratios between their values are equivalent. So a ratio is just a comparison of two numbers, you know, like two, um, or, yeah, two <laughs> uh, to four. Pretend with me that that's a two, okay? Two to four, you can write as a fraction, okay? And so a, a proportional linear relationship would be if, if, if the two variables, in this case, S and I, if the ratio between them is always is always equivalent. So, you know, the ratio of 1 to 2 um, would be 1 to 2. The ratio of 3 to 6, uh, it's hard to read, 3 to 6, and that would be equivalent to 1 half. You know, 3 over 6 is the same thing as, as 1 over 2. You divide both these by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Um, the ratio of 4 to 8 uh, that's equivalent to you could, you could divide both by um, two uh, divide both by four equivalent to to one one over two okay so the ratio between s and i is always the same so we would call this um, proportional okay now semi switching gears the relationship between two variables is called a direct variation if one of the variables is a constant multiple of the other. And we write that like y equals kx, and this k just stands for constant. Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know why we don't say y equals cx. Um, maybe it's a German guy who who came up with this. I I don't know. Um, anyway, so so for example, let's look at this guy again. Can we say that um, i is a constant multiple of s? Um, and we could find out, you know, we could divide 2 by 1 is 2, uh, 6 divided by 3 is, th is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, excuse me, <laughs> that'd be funny, uh, 8 divided by 4 is 4, so by looking at this, we can tell that actually i is is equal to 2 times whatever s is. So we would say yes, there is a direct variation here because s or i is a constant multiple of s. Um, whatever s is, you multiply by 2 and you get i. Or you, you can look at it the other way. Um, s is equal to 1 half i. You know, whatever i is, multiply that by 1 half and you'll get what s is. So, you know, i is 8, multiply that by 1 half, you get 4. So, Oh yeah, look at that, see? So actually, uh, direct variations and proportional linear relationships are the same thing. And we just proved it. Alright, enjoy. Have fun.